guys this is rosa kelly welcome back to my channel so today i'm super excited to show you my new collection for my patreons and so before i show you that i wanted to give you some updates and schedule of where <laughs> what i'm posting next so last week i started the project for the pets album and based on your suggestions so i wanted to update you on that because i haven't posted it yet so i already started the book and I decided I was going to do the Heartful Creations papers because they're just so pastel -y, so pretty so I wanted to use these and I already started the book but um, I haven't edited the video so it's going to be a three-part video um, I am done with two so maybe I'll just start posting as I finish editing and those um, I kind of wanted to finish all at once so I can do like a write-up um, you know, like cutting guy, like some of you like to have. Uh, but I think I'm just going to start posting as I am finishing the book. And um, the other thing that I wanted to mention was in the one hour crafting series that I wanted to start tomorrow today is thursday so i wanted to start tomorrow friday i do want to do like a quick and easy one hour crafting project so maybe tonight i'll do that and have a video for you guys tomorrow and so the other thing i wanted to update you is um so i finished editing the ulitude class and i've never edited so fast so last night i was just like editing 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 and this should be added to the website today i wanted to get it fast because i am having the sale and a lot of you have been emailing me that you wanted to um, get the book before the sale ends and so what i'm going to do is add the class um, to the website today and i'm also going to extend the sale until a sunday so the sale is 30 percent off any video class and so everything is there and the coupon is be mine so i'm going to put it here on the screen but also i received a lot of emails about the christmas rose kit which is this project right here so i went ahead and ordered some more kits and um, those are going to be coming to the website maybe in the next couple of days okay and then one last reminder is that this saturday is going to be our live class for members so for everyone on the online classroom section we have our live classes once a month and that is going to be on this saturday so it's always the third saturday of the month at 5 p.m pacific standard time the class stays recorded so if you can make it you can always come back and watch it so instead of working on a mini album this time i'm going to be working on technique so we're going to be um, doing pop-ups um, spinnable different interactive pieces towers and just different pop-ups that you can add to your album so it's going to be mainly technique so if that is something that you like make sure that um, you are part of the membership i'm so. going to show you the collection so if you are a member of my patreon i am now doing a digital paper collection every month which has been really fun so the previous one for the month of january which is the red riding hood it's already on the website if you would like to be part of the patreon you will receive the digital collection every month there's four levels there's the busy bee there's the fairy friends there is and the storybook friends and then there is my crafty wizards so if you are on the fairy friends you will get the digital collections every month and if you're on the storybook friends you will get the collection and the tutorial for the patreon project of the month and then if you're on the crafty crafty wizards you will get and the behind the scenes and kind of like my thinking process and just some extra features as well and so now i'm going to give you a look into my um, collection for the month if you are uh, part of my patreon this is the collection that we're playing with and the collection comes sent to you it's, it will be sent to you in a pdf the way you can just press print and it will print exactly like this uh, because the pages the pages are one to one and so this is size to eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter if you wanted to print this to a 12 by 12 you can still do so because the um the resolution of the graphics are large enough but you just have to kind of 
modify your printings, printer settings if you have like a large printer for 12 by 12 paper. And so if you print at eight and a half by 11, it will come out exactly like this. And I went ahead and printed mine on 65 pound cardstock. And this is the cardstock that I get from my I just used the white 65 pound um, recollections brand. You can also buy, um, I think there is a high quality matte paper that you can get from Amazon that's really good. I haven't tried it yet. So here is the first page. Um, I wanted to have something very magical and playful and fun. And so that is the first page. And I'm just going to give you a quick look here. And I do have another video showing you some tips on how I print my uh, pages, what settings on my printer I use. I use high resolution uh, paper, even though I'm only printing on cardstock because I do like all the detail. I don't know if the camera is showing, but the paper has some texture. And so it makes it look kind of like fabric a little bit. So how adorable is that little guy? And so each page has a complementary, it's kind of like a set of two that I like to have. And then here is the next one. And that is the complementary page for that. And then look at this cute little guy. So adorable. And that is that. And then here we have the acrobats, <laughs> the little girls playing here and then this is the next one so very happy playful colors and then I just really love this one here too how pretty like they're kind of like twin sisters and we also have a page of cut apart so we can take some of these out and make interactive movable pieces and then I also do the white background pages that way you don't have to use a lot of ink but also have some of the design the design to complement some pages as well you can also fussy cut this around and use as ephemera as well or you can put them on your scan and cuts and here's this one so this will be like trim top and bottom there as well to use as a background page and these are easy to print again won't take much ink if you worry about um, running out of ink you can always use more of these white background pages so that is the collection if you're on my patreon you probably already seen it but i wanted to do a walkthrough before i get started with my patreon project and then the collection also comes with the um some little cut aparts here to add to our project and so that is the collection and so yeah so that is it for this video i will be leaving my patreon link down below if you're interested on the new collection and the project that we are going to be making and also i'm going to list my website where you can um, find all the other stuff that i talk about <laughs> So yeah, so now I'm excited to move forward with um, a new collection. I'm going to be playing with the February kits. I didn't do a walkthrough of the February kits. I did send an email. Um, you can go on my website and look at those as well. I think I'm just from now on, I'm going to be showing you the kit as I do the project as I did for the Yuli Toot. And so I will be showing you the full project and what comes on the kit all on the same video i think that will be a lot easier to see you know what you're going to be making if you wanted to get some of the kits but i'm excited they're on the website if you want to take a peek <laughs> and thank you for watching i'll see you guys on the next one Bye bye